All right, so this says engineers must consider the diameters of heads when designing helmets. Company researchers have determined that the population of potential clientele have head diameters that are normally distributed. Good. Mean of 5.9. Uh, so mu is 5.9. Standard deviation of 1.2. So sigma is 1.2. Uh, due to financial constraints, the helmets will be designed to fit all men except those with head diameters that are in the smallest 3.4% or largest 3.4%. What are those values? So we're looking for the values that cut off the bottom 3.4% or 0 0.034 and the top. 3.4% or 0 0.034. So let's find this one first. I think that's the easier of the two. Thing to keep in mind is when you do this, they, the calculator always wants areas to the left of the value we're looking for. So I'm going to hit second, distributions. Now I'm doing inverse normal because I want the value given the area. Area to the left of this X value is 0 0.034. Mu is 5.9. Standard deviation is 1.2. So this is 3.7. Now you can either figure out how much, what did I subtract to go from 5.9 to 3.7 and then add that. Or you can just do it again and say, I'm going to use the area to the left of this guy. Well, if there's 3.4% above it, that means there's got to be 96 0.6% below it, or 0.966 below it. So if I do that, second distribution, inverse normal, 0.966, everything else stays the same, I get 8.09, or 8.1. So to go up, I added 2.2, .2, and to go down, I subtracted 2.2. .2. So it's symmetrical. Okay, this says the population of values has a normal distribution. That's good. You intend to draw a sample of n equals 155. So you got this one no problem. That's just going to be inverse normal um, The area to the left of that value is 0.84 the mean is 135 0.6 standard deviations 46.1 the thing to consider here is when you're talking about a sample that's going to change your standard deviation when we do these calculations we don't use this we use sigma of x bar which is equal to the sigma of the population divided by the square root of the sample size so we do 46.1 divided by the square root of 155 46.1 divided by square root of 155, 3.703. So we'll do the same thing here, except we're going to change our standard deviation. Area is still 0.84. Mean is 135.6, but our standard deviation is 3.703. So if we do that, inverse normal, 0 0.84, 135.6, 3.703. Is that what I said? Yeah. 139.28. Whenever you're talking about a sample, you got to change your standard deviation. So this one here, population of values has a normal distribution with mu equals 21.9 and sigma equals 16.1. You intend to draw a random sample uh, of size n equals 113. Find the probability that a sample of size 113 is randomly selected with a mean between these two values. So I'll show you, you can do it all in the calculator, but just remember we're talking about a sample. So my sigma has to be sigma x bar, 
which is equal to 16.1 over the square root of the sample size. So I will do distributions. Now I'm looking for the area, so normal CDF. My lower bound is 19.8. My upper bound is 20.1. Mean is 21.9. And now I can do it all in one step. 16.1 divided by the square root of 113. Oops, let me do that. 16.1 divided by the square roots of 113. Close parentheses like that. So we get a probability of 0 0.0345. Because as soon as you see sample, we got to do this. This says a company produces steel rods. The lengths of the steel rods are normally distributed. Yada, yada, yada. Ah, 23 steel rods. That's a sample. So our sigma is going to be sigma x bar, which is equal to the standard deviation of the population divided by the square root of the sample size. So that's the same thing we're doing here. Normal CDF. Lower bound is going to be 223. Upper bound is going to be 223.2. The mean is 222.9. And the standard deviation is 1.6 divided by the square root of 23. 0.1979. That's all you have to remember. As soon as you see we're talking about a, a select group, you're going to have to divide your standard deviation by the square root of that sample size.